struggling with site analysis? What if I tell you, you can create one in just seconds? Faster than AutoCAD and without needing Photoshop or Illustrator to style your drawings. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Kritika, an architect and I create educational related content on Instagram and YouTube for designers like you who wants to improve their workflow. In today's video, I'll show you how to create site analysis in Rayon Design using their built-in blocks. Just drag, drop and customize, no need for complex tools or extra softwares. If you are new to Rayon Design, make sure to check out my previous tutorial where I have covered why it's a great tool for students and how I use it for my projects. You will find the link for that video in the description box below. Also, I have added a link for a free student account. So you can try Rayon Design for yourself, plus a ready to use template that you can duplicate for your project. Now, let's get started. Let's open Rayon. On your left side, you will see templates. Open them and scroll down to find symbols section. Under this, you will find site analysis symbols. You can either open the file directly or use the link attached in the description box below to duplicate and use it. These built-in blocks make site analysis faster and more efficient. Now, on the left hand side, I will go to the three lines, click on import and import my Rayon file. I have already created a map that requires site analysis. Once imported, you can see the drawing. It's a city map with my proposed site in the center, surrounded by buildings like houses and commercial areas. To begin the site analysis, I will go to the layer panel and create a new layer named background. Using the zone tool from the bottom toolbar, I will select an area and create a rectangle. Then I will drag the layer below to keep my elements organized. To edit this zone, simply select it and use the right hand side panel under styles to access the fill option. I will add a solid green color, but you can also enter a hex coat or pick a color of your choice. Next, I will add colors to the roads by selecting the zone tool and marking the points precisely. Zooming in helps make the selection more accurate. Once selected, I will go to the Styles Fill option and choose a grey color with full opacity from the right hand side panel. If I miss any section, I'll repeat the process and ensure uniformity by picking the same grey color using the Picker tool. If I need to delete any text from the zones, I can easily do so by selecting and deleting it. Now, I will refine my road zones by selecting it and using the edit option to fine tune the polylines. This is one of the best features in Rayon design. After this, I will start adding trees. The built-in blocks have trees symbol, which I can simply drag and drop or copy paste using Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Keeping layers well organized ensure clarity in visuals I can also use the customization tool to rotate, scale or modify them as needed. Once I have placed all the trees, I will move on to the shadows to add depth and enhance the presentation. I will create a new layer named shadows and ensure it's below the buildings and the trees layer. Zooming into the building, I will use the zone tool to create a shadow by marking a closed loop selection. Then from the right hand side panel, I will select the fill option, choose a black color, reduce its opacity to 25% and remove the stroke line. Similarly for trees, I will use the circle tool from the toolbar, select the solid stroke line apply black fill in 25% and adjust its placement and scale accordingly. 
I will quickly add all the shadows to the buildings and the trees and show it to you how it looks. Now, I will focus on the side by using offset tool from the toolbar. Selecting the side line, I will create an offset. Then customize its color using the picker tool to match the same built-in block. With one click, the line is modified and I can further adjust its line weight from the right hand side panel. I will select the side rectangle and choose a pastel pink shade from the color panel. Next, I will add a north indicator to the side. Rayon design of a multiple north symbols option. So I will select one, copy it and paste it onto my side. Rotating it to align the correct direction. Similarly, I will add sun path from the built-in block, scale it and position it accordingly. Rayon design makes adding these elements super fast and efficient. Now, I will create a new layer named building block and use the rectangular tool from the toolbar to create a rectangle. From the right hand side panel, I will adjust its properties, setting a solid stroke with a white fill. Then I will rotate and place it where necessary according to the design. Using the fillet tool, I will modify the shape, adjust its radius as needed. At the center of the site, I have my building while at the top left corner has a parking area. I will copy paste the rectangle for the parking zone and customize its properties by selecting a dotted stroke and reducing the opacity of white color. For the green areas within the site, I will copy paste another rectangle, adjust its placement. and modify its properties from the right side panel. Customizing and scaling shapes in rayon design is seamless. To add shadow to the building, I will copy paste the building rectangle, place the duplicate below the original layer and set its opacity to 25% using the black color. I can also arrange the layers easily by right clicking and selecting send backward. To enhance the green areas, I'll apply hatch by selecting the rectangle, navigating to the right hand side panels, fill option and choosing a hatch pattern. I can further customize its scale, opacity and color. For the second green area, I'll repeat the same process by selecting and dropping the desired style. Next, I will use the polyline tool to map out vehicular movement across the site, indicating entry, exit and drop off points leading to the parking. Using the picker tool from the right hand side panel, I will select a built in dash dotted purple line for the vehicular movement. Adjust its properties and modify the line weight. I will then use the polyline tool to create directional arrows, ensuring they have no stroke but fill with purple color. Copying and pasting these arrows, I will place them near the parking area, adjusting their rotation and position. For pedestrian movement, I will use the polyline tool to create paths. Then select the line and apply a predefined pedestrian movement style from the site analysis symbols. Adjusting the line weight ensure better visibility. After this, I will add arrows by copying those used for vehicular movement and changing their color to differentiate them. I 
I will then include relevant symbols such as parking, zebra crossing, parks, location indicator, wind direction, etc. These built-in symbols can be customized as needed. Once added, the site analysis begins to take shape with well-placed elements. Now, I will add text by selecting the text tool from the toolbar, clicking on the desired location and entering the text. After confirming with the blue tick, I can adjust text properties like color, font, size and alignment from the right-hand side panel. I will add all necessary labels to ensure clarity. To improve the tree visuals, I will change their color by selecting trees and applying a dark green shade from the right-hand side panel. This enhances the overall aesthetic. Next, I will add title block by searching for annotation in the block library, dragging and dropping the title block onto the site, scaling it and positioning it correctly. I will update the drawing name to site analysis and confirm the changes. Additional details like logo or project information can be included in the title block. Finally, I will export the drawing. From the right hand side panel, I will navigate to the pages section, create a new page, adjust its size according to my sheet. Then I will click on three dots in the page panel to access the export option. I can choose to export it as a PDF or a PNG file. And that's it. Rayon Design makes site analysis so effortless. Just a few clicks and you have a clean, well-organized layout ready to go. It's faster than AutoCAD and you don't need Photoshop or Illustrator to style your drawings. If you find this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such tutorials. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily design inspiration. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.